of you are working full time while going to college? How many of you? Walk about right now. Can you? Do you work full time? Do you? How many of you can afford to pay that extra money? All right, not only are you the future, but you are today. And right now, this is a great sign seeing you all come together. I wish there were more. Make sure there are more when you go up on to, uh, over to Hartford on the 21st. But I actually want to ingrain something, not only for you all, but for any of the press that's here. I, I want a, kind of a slogan to go by here. And that is, please, state of Connecticut, Governor Malloy, please don't spend money we don't have on buildings we already have. And, and the theme goes to something that what the state government wants to do. They want to spend hundreds of millions, no, over a billion dollars on building new facilities for the University of Connecticut. Facilities we already have. For example, they want to build a brand new facility in Stanford, Connecticut, just south of us. And guess what they want to build? They want to build a visual and performing arts center. Hmm. I wonder what's going up on this campus. There's a brand new visual and performing arts center going up on this campus. So you want to spend money we don't have on buildings we already have? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. That is our future, but that is also our today. That's money we don't have today that you are willing to mortgage off for our future, for your future, for my kids' future. Once again, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> professors, <laughs> professors at Consco, right? professors at Western, at Eastern, at Southern and Central, we froze our wages for the last three years. Why? So we can keep classes small and tuition lower. So we sacrificed already. So what is the state now wanting to do? Okay, so the professors sacrificed. Now, who are they targeting? Us. I can't hear you. Us. Right. The students. They're, they're, it's exactly the students. Right. So they want to spend money we don't have. Actually, sp spend your money that you don't have on buildings we already have. Once again, I don't think so. I don't think so. So now it's your turn. It's your turn to go to Hartford to have your voices heard to say I don't think so don't spend money we don't have on facilities we already have and don't ask us to sacrifice anymore on a policy that doesn't look towards the future thank you how's everybody doing yeah. oh come on we're starting to do a little bit better than that how's everybody doing yeah. I hear each and every one of you on Thursday night, so I know y'all get much louder than that. Let's try this one more time. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Are y'all fired up? Yeah. Are y'all fired up? Yeah. Well, guess what? I'm ready to go. I'm going to tell you why. I'm not coming up here with the speech. I'm not coming up here with talking points. I'm coming up here as a student. I'm coming up here as one of you. Because you know what? Education was the only thing that was ever promised to me or anybody else in our family. It was told to us, if we worked hard, we worked our tails off. If we got out there and we made the right choices and did the right thing, we got an education, we would go far in life. I'm sure the same thing was told to each and every one of you. When I was growing up, I used to get told these little bedtime stories. I would have to have a little cookie and then the milk, and my grandma had to tuck me in bed, and I had to have little footy pajamas. I still have the footy pajamas, but I don't wear them too much anymore. But they always used to say, she told me fairy tales. And so she told me a fairy tale about Robin Hood. And that's kind of what this thing makes me, uh, reminds me of, Robin Hood. See, they're taken from the poor to give to the rich. And that's not fair. Well, they should be taken from the rich to give to the poor. Yeah. That's not fair. Yeah. We want to talk about fairness. That's not Robin Hood. They're robbing the hood. That's what it is. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something else, too. I'm, I'm going to tell you something else. They're not going to come to our hood and rob us any longer because you want to know why? We're fired up, and we're ready to go, and we're going to show them exactly what they're messing with. This is our future. This is our school. This is our second home. There are students at this school who have so much to worry about. I see them all the time. I hear them all the time. I talk to them all the time. I'm friends with them. Sometimes I have to feed them and take them places, too. That's kind of unfortunate when they don't give you gas money. But I will tell you this. They're worried about their jobs. They're worried about the debt that they're going to get. And do they need more debt by them raising our tuition? No! Absolutely not. Students who live out of state can't go home for the holidays because they're too worried about how to pay for classes. 
so they can graduate on time. Instead of going five years, they can do four years or three years. Is that fair? No. no. Hell no, it's not fair. And I'm mad. Just like each and every one of you should be mad. You, want, you should be mad because this is your dream. Nobody messes with your dream. Nobody robs your dream from you. No one can take that away from you because it's yours to take and lay down so you can take it up yourself again. This is our school. We are just as good as UConn. We are just as good as any other school. If not, we are the best. We are better. And so I'm going to make a pledge to you right now. We're going to give them some hell up there in Hartford. Are you with me? Yeah! No, no, I don't think you understand. Are you with me? Yeah! West High, now is the time to unite. We can't let these little petty differences get us down any longer. It's not worth it. So if you stand with me, if you fight with me, I'll fight with you. If you walk with me, I'll walk with you. If you email legislators, I'll email some with you. If we go up on the buses to Hartford, I'll go with you. As long as we're together in this fight, as long as we make sure that everything's secure for us, not just for us, but for our future, for our kids, for their kids, for their kids, for UConn, for West Conference, for Central, for Eastern, for Southern, it's for all of us, not just one, but for everybody, it's to be equal. Then I make sure that we will make this happen together. Are you fired up? Yeah. Are you ready to go? Yeah. God bless all of you. Thank you. Yeah.